James Blackman to transfer after graduation. Tamarion Terry, no longer with the team. Marvin Wilson, injured, out for the rest of the year. And Devontae Love Taylor, also out for the rest of the year. My thoughts? Let's chop it up. Kicking. DJ Bucket Remix. Kicking. Kicking. We have learned there are some departures from the Florida State football team. And we got some names. So earlier in the week, Coach Mike Norvell, I guess, was hinting toward this because he says there were some roster changes, a little bit of a shakeup, but he didn't want to talk about it until Wednesday. So, we have James Blackman to transfer after graduation. Now, it was just a couple of days ago, I was having a conversation, and I told one of my homies, I pretty much damn near wanted to guarantee James Blackman is going to leave after this year. I mean, what would truly be the purpose to stay? You have lost your starting job. You had a chance to start, you know, even though it wasn't the best of uh, circumstances. You had a chance to start up under Jimbo. You had a chance to start up under Willie Taggart. You even started this year off up under Mike Norvell. None of that shit looked good to us. Now, I give it to you. The first year wasn't really, you know, too much we could really expect. I mean, a true freshman coming out there doing whatever he can do, right? In my opinion, that was his best year. And honestly, I thought returning to, I guess you could say, more of a taskmaster type of style head coach you know James would pretty much snap back into that uh, true freshman mode and it wouldn't be elite but it'd be damn sure better than 0-2 with a pick right I'm just saying I'm just saying but you know I wish him the best wherever he goes I'm pretty sure if he steps down a level in competition, he might just ball out and have fun and enjoy college football for a change, right? Because I don't know about him, and I know I'm not a player. I'm just a fan, just a spectator. But it ain't been fun from this perspective. So I don't know if it's been fun for him. But moving on... Tamarion Terry. You know, I like to call him Leon. He looked like Leon off the movies. That sharp ass edge on the beard and stuff, you know. But anyway, Tamarion Terry is no longer with the program. Now, my heart goes out to this young man. You feel me? Because I learned early on in the in the uh season early on this year he lost his grandmother you know now to a young man a grandmother or a mother very very special very very special I lost my mother this year R.I.P. to my mom so I gotta say R.I.P. to his grandmother because I mean to lose you your influence right 
and then to pretty much get hurt early and then just suck like just flat out suck the whole team like nothing seems to be going right for him right now so my heart goes out to the brother to the young man but like James Blackman I wish him well and whatever and whatever he does from here on out Let's talk about Marvin Wilson, who I still respect and love, but I have to take a few shots <clears throat> at Mr. Marvin because I just don't understand what happened. Now, I'm hearing, you know, he's got a little knee problem. He's he's been injured, you know. But if it's like that, man, why didn't somebody let him sit? Talk him into sitting. Something. Because, damn, not only did you have the fan base jumping down your throat because you don't look like yourself, the NFL scouts might start distancing their self from you because you don't look like yourself. I remember a couple of years back, you know what I'm saying? I was working in a uh, retail and I met a uh, sports agent that uh, came to Tallahassee to go meet Mr. Marvin Wilson. And boy, this sports agent was grinning from ear to ear. As soon as he said his name, boy, he, man, he, see, he said, that's a man right there. That one, that's a man. We came to get him. We came to get him. So from day one, man, you know, you've been set. They they, they they had their eyes on you. And the play from this year might have hurt. And it might have hurt more than the knee that has been reported to be hurt. So I guess it's good for him to go ahead and just pack it in for the year and try to save face and get ready for your next phase in your career. I wish you luck, but boy, I wish you had sacked a few people this year even more. Okay, now, moving on to the last player on this list, Mr. Devontae Love Taylor, right? Now, this guy, he's been the one that showed up this year. Out of all of our offensive linemen, he's been the most consistent. He's actually the captain, you know, he's the signal caller, the one that gets up there and he can point out, you know, who's blocking who and all the assignments and keep people in line. And now he's out for the rest of the year. So all of that good, you know, good uh, press that uh, Coach Atkins was getting earlier. It's time for that to come through and shine. Because we need you to make another Devontae Love Taylor. Or did Devontae Love Taylor make your reputation so far, Mr. Atkins? We shall see. Two fingers to my eyes, two to yours, and back to mine. Let me know. Letting you know. I'm watching y'all. Straight up. So, <clears throat> that is the latest news coming out of fsu camp we have lost a few players some for different reasons but it don't seem like nobody's coming back this year shout out to hamsa because you know what i'm saying i hear he's really trying to get on the field but he's continued to have uh setbacks but uh really man don't risk it, bruh. We ain't doing shit this year. Go ahead and get right. I am your boy, 1DB, The Movement, a.k.a. One Flip Dollar. And y'all keep it chopping, no fam. Until next time. My. All right, so I want to appreciate y'all for checking me out today. You know what I'm talking about? Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. 
you know what I'm saying? Hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop another one of these joints. You know what I'm talking about? And uh, subscribe. I am your boy, 1DB, The Movement, aka 1Flip, Dollar. And of course, man, I always welcome y'all to the Chop Shop. You can chop a note, man. My. Yo, check me out every Thursday night with my boy Turnt Tally, man. Live on YouTube, on his channel, Turnt Tally and Mulatto 5. I suggest you subscribe. Every Thursday night, 8 p.m., man, we going over FSU football and basketball. Keep it chopping. You know the deal. Oh, my. Every time the beat drops